Hello and welcome to another Identify as many songs by a particular artist in two minutes as you can video. Today is Meatloaf, the mighty Meatloaf. Big fan, always have been, uh, especially the albums he did with Jim Steinman. I just think for me they're some of the most amazing music ever recorded. And um, I'm actually, at the moment, I'm working on a song with a couple of collaborators, which is, it's pretty much a tribute song to Jim Steinman and his his style and his and his work and very excited about that and uh hope to finish that relatively soon and get it out so you can hear it um i've got nearly nearly all of meatloaf's albums there's a couple that i don't have but there's still 90 songs here so enough for me to do this challenge with i think um let's see two minutes on the clock let's see how i do i'm gonna aim for 20 which is my normal aim and we'll see how we do uh, if God could talk. Next. Uh, the future ain't what it used to be. Cry to heaven. Oh, this is from Braver Than We Are. Uh, it's going to cost me. It's not God's... No. That's going to annoy me. Oh, this is from... Mm, no, oh, it's going to cost me. Damn, two in a row that I, I, I know I know. Oh, another one. Uh, love you out loud. Don't know. I'm guessing it's from Braver Than We Are because I'm not that familiar with it. Modern Girl. Cry Over Me. Gods. Oh, uh, Blind as a Bat. I don't know Jim Steinman ones, but this changed. This is now, uh, it just won't quit. This is from Hank Cool Teddy Bear. It's not the Jack Black one. It's gonna cost me, damn. Oh, uh, Running for the Red Light, I Got a Life. Damn, no. This is victimizing me. It's picking all the non-Jim Steinman ones. Braver than we are. Uh, you're right, I was wrong. Is nothing sacred? Bad out of hell. Oh, if this is the last kiss, let's make it last all night. Dead ringer. Okay, I'm counting that because it started. It's not dead ringer, damn it. <laughs> well, this is a test, because if it was just the ones, the Jim Steinman ones that I was super familiar with, it wouldn't be fair, would it? So I don't know if I got 20, even though it picked a lot of the ones from the later albums that I'm not as familiar with. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> God, give me Paradise by the Dashboard Light, get it in a second. We see I got Bad Out of Hell in like one second and all. I think all the Jim Steinman ones I got very, very quick, so... But if I just made this a Jim Steinman meatloaf one, then it wouldn't have been a challenge. This is the challenge. I think I got, well, let's see. Let's see how many I got. I got a grand total of 12, <laughs> which is not impressive at all. Uh, ones that I missed were some Jim Steinman ones, Speaking in Tongues, uh, which Braver Than We Are is the album that I'm least familiar with. So I didn't get Speaking in Tongues from that. I identified Going All The Way as braver than we are. I'm counting that one just because it is braver than we are. I think that might even be in parentheses. And yeah, it opens with, we always dream we were braver than we really are. So I'm counting that one. Um, ones that I didn't get, if it ain't broke, break it. Yeah, in my defense, that one, it sounds more like one of the less Stein, it's a less, it's an, it's a, one, it's a Steinman one that doesn't sound like a Steinman one, if that, from the opening at least, if that's any defense. It sounds more like a track that's on uh, Hang Cool Teddy Bear or something like that. So I didn't get that. Uh, for What It's Worth, another one from Braver Than We Are. Running Away From Me, that was from Hang Cool Teddy Bear. And it's one that I knew, but I was like, is it Song of Madness? Is it, there's a few on there that I'm not as familiar with the openings with. And the last one, it's from the Dead Ringer album, but it's not Dead Ringer. It is I'll Kill You If I Don't Come Back. 
which I love that song. I really, really love that song. And in fact, um, one day I want to do an album uh, of covers of songs by my favourite songwriters. Um, I've done one by Paul McCartney for, I did that for a charity project last year. That was his song. <laughs> what was it called? One of These Days. And I thought for a Jim Steinman one, rather than cover one that's kind of done to perfection, like Bad Out of Hell, Don't Touch That, I thought I'd do what he does and kind of pick and choose bits from different songs and lump them together. Because uh, he's, no one recycles their own material more than Jim Steinman. He's, if you are familiar with his back catalogue, you'll know that he'll reuse that coda, that chorus, that line, that chorus bit. So I thought I would try and do a version of All Revved Up With No Place To Go, but a bit more inspired by the musical version of it, as in from the Bad Out of Hell musical. And I thought I'd take the middle bit from I'll Kill You If You Don't Come Back, the whole the bless all the girls bit, because I thought that would make a good a good song where you have like the beginning bit, which is about the boys and the middle bit, which is about the girls. I think they could work quite well together. But that's irrelevant to this video, which is the challenge of which I got 12, falling well short of my goal of 20. I nearly always fall short. I think on these videos, I think the only one that I've gotten above 20 on is the Beatles one. And that's just because Beatles are my favorite band. They just are. And I know their stuff very well. So a little bit ashamed that I only got 12, but in my defense, it's not even in my defense to say that the shuffle function was against me today because it's impartial as can be. So yeah, 12. So I said at the beginning, I'm a big Meatloaf fan and I still am, but this video isn't evidence of that at all, really. So I will walk away humbly and hope to do better on the next one, which uh, I think I might do the killers next. Yeah, I'll do the killers next. So whenever I do that, see that, see you whenever I do that and take care in the meantime. Bye.